What's up, family? Okay, I got a doozy for you. Imagine your child going to the bookstore and coming across a book that depicts Santa Claus as a gay black male. Well, that's about to be a reality because there's an author who has penned such a book. It goes like this, y'all. Many movies and books have been defined with Santa as a white man who gives out gifts for Christmas, then returns home to Mrs. Santa Claus and his helper elves. Well, this folklore is about to be disrupted thanks to the comedy writer Daniel Kibblesmith. Kibblesmith is producing a children's book with Harper Design that will star a black gay Santa Claus and an interracial relationship. <laughs> Kibblesmith got the idea after outrage over a black Santa Claus at a Mall of America. Kibble Smith tweeted out, me and Jen Ashley Wright have decided our future child will only know about black Santa. If they see a white one, we'll say that's his husband. Kibble Smith further explained, my fiance, Jennifer Wright, and I joke privately and then on Twitter that since Every house has its own traditions and lore surrounding Christmas. We would tell our children that Black Santa Claus was the real Santa Claus. After Kibble Smith Sweet received thousands of likes and retweets, he realized there was a genuine interest in the book becoming a reality. Some people, not me, even believe that Santa Claus is just your parents, which would mean that there are many interpretations of Santa Claus as there are different kinds of families. Kibble Smith continued. But again, this is only a theory because Santa Claus is real and we have written a book about him. Nice to see authors recognizing family diversity. <laughs> this is a doozy. Y'all know people are up in arms. Boy, these folks is pissed off. Not only did you make Santa Claus black, but you made Santa Claus gay. Put Santa Claus in an interracial relationship. Lord have mercy. Man, what's next, man? This is the world we live in. So many of you guys know Santa Claus as St. Nicholas, St. Nick, Chris Kringle, Father, what is it? Father Christmas, all this stuff, right? And this is the guy that's said to have uh, be a legendary figure of, of Western Christian culture who went around uh, giving gifts to well-mannered children. Now, Santa Claus grew out of this, this modern day Santa grew out of the tradition of a historical figure, Saint Nick, like a real guy. Suppose this real guy by the name of St. Nicholas, who was a Greek bishop and gift giver. Now, this guy was said to have had a list. Whoa, that's a, that's had to be the longest list in the history of civilization, but he had a list of children all over the world. And he categorized, he categorized them uh, by good and bad or naughty and nice. And for the well-behaved children, they received toys and candy. And the bad kids received coal. Yeah, C-O-A-L, coal. <laughs> so he... Uh, was able to deliver these gifts on Christmas Eve, December 24th. He did this every year faithfully with the help of these little elves who made the toys at a workshop. 
And after they make all of the toys for all of the children around the world, <laughs> they managed to put them on a sleigh that was led by reindeers. And they traveled all around the world and every good child received their gift by the time they woke up on Christmas morning. It was amazing. This guy was greater than Superman, Batman, Stretch Armstrong, Racer X. This guy was greater than any superhero that has ever been imagined. This was the guy, Saint Nick. And another thing, this guy was always in this red suit and he had this big white beard and he wore glasses and he, his main thing was hoes. I mean, not hoes, but saying ho, ho, ho. That was his thing, ho, ho, ho. Some people say that's where the word ho come from because Santa was on the cool. He was deviling as a pimp. He had some hoes, so he said, but where's my ho, ho, ho? I heard that rumor before. I haven't been able to substantiate it yet, but it's out there. Just letting y'all know it's out there. So here's the thing, people. <laughs> it's a fictional character. People are losing their minds over this story. It's a fictional character. So the fictional character character could be anybody. Man, listen, man, the culture is already in the toilet. All right. Let's, let's keep it real. The culture is already in the toilet. Most of the founding fathers were, well, all the founding founding fathers were racist, and most of them were pedophiles. Unless, of course, you don't count the rape of slave children as pedophilia. Yeah, let's keep it real, man. Let's keep it all the way 100. The culture is in the toilet. Who gives a damn if Santa Claus is a gay black man? I don't give a damn. I don't care what he is. I don't care if you're, I don't care if Santa Claus to you is a is a gay black male, you know, or or a transvestite. It don't matter to me, cause he fake. Santa Claus is anything you want him to be. He white, he black, he Mexican, he Asian, he's an Indian, whatever the hell you want Santa Claus to be. He fat, he skinny, he's a girl, he's a he, he's a chi, whatever. He's a, Santa was an engineer. Santa was a basketball player. Man, Santa was a boxer. Santa was a gangster. Santa was a pimp. Santa was a hoe. Man, Santa was a police officer. Santa was a hitman. It don't matter. Whatever you want to call Santa, whatever you want to believe Santa is, that's what Santa is. The culture is already in the toilet. You can't do any more to it. I mean, when you think, when I, when I started thinking about this, the first thing that came to mind was Jesus. I was like, well, in the U.S., Christians portray Jesus as being white. Well, if you can switch up the ethnicity of Jesus, why can't you switch up the sexuality of Santa Claus? It's all about perception. It's all whatever you believe. It's all about what you want people to believe. So why not? I thought, I, I had a ball with it, man. I thought it was funny as hell. I thought it was funny as hell. Now, the interesting part, I'm going to be trying to explain to these kids about this gay Santa Claus. But it shouldn't be any more interesting than trying to explain to some little poor kid in the hood why he don't have any gifts and why this... Uh, jolly, nice, um, giving a white guy never comes by and visit him and give him gifts. 
shouldn't be any more uh, interesting or complicated to explain. Shouldn't be any more uh, complicated or interesting to explain to a Latino kid why is Santa white. Yeah, Santa is whoever you want Santa to be, man. It's all fake anyway. It's all fake. That's what you got to get to, y'all. It's all fake. It's all about whatever you want it to be, that's what it is. You want Santa to be a weightlifter? Santa a weightlifter. You want to be a carpenter? I think somebody said he was a carpenter by trade. <laughs> but that was fake. All right. Listen, man, if you like the videos I give y'all, hey, join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. That's P A T R E O N dot com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.